We're back. Okay, good. So, <laughs> you've, you've loaded all your uh, stuff on the ship. You've gotten your quarters. They are quaint. They're small. They're, they're clearly the cabins on the ship are a bit of an afterthought. It's mostly a, uh, a, uh, a freighter of, of, uh, of stuff, of cargo. Mm-hmm. I can't, I can't mm-hmm. talk today. The ship's full of various cargo. Um, there's key in the in the hold. There's cages and equipment to capture like the various exotic animals that you might find, and they're they're side by side with like bags of mail, crates of American whiskey, uh, you know, cigars from the Caribbean, and like God knows what else. There's just you know crates and barrels and bags and you know as as, as much as you can see, the ship is stuffed yes. you know, outside of the coal and whatnot to to run the. Uh, the steam engine and all that sort of stuff. Um, and the crew are just kind of like bumping right up against the passengers. The, the ship is full. Um, you've met the captain and the first mate, Captain Lloyd Fuller. He seems like a, uh, a competent captain, if a bit gruff. Um, and first mate, you've met a few times, Terrence McSweeney. Uh, a little nicer, a little more talkative, but keeps the crew in line. And not quite so, uh, not quite so unfriendly or gruff, but seems like a decent fellow overall. Um, and the crew is, you know, is typical, typical uh, ship's crew. There's, you know, various nationalities, a lot of Americans, but not all of them. Um, what's what's the name of the ship? Do we have a name? The ship is the um, the H. Phillips. H. Phillips. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And right. the trip takes a while. I mean, this is just, I, I can't give you the exact figures because I don't know if you guys know better, but it's a steamship going from, from Connecticut to Angola. Mm-hmm. And it takes a while. The days kind of drag into each other. You know? is, uh, there's not a lot of open space on, on the deck? There is. There's some. Would I be able to practice archery on the deck? Sailors you could. will probably hate you for it, but sure. Yeah, the sailors might kill you. The what? The sailors might kill you. You 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 started to set stuff up, but they gave this look like they might throw you overboard. Okay, okay, yeah. So I'll start the setup, like yeah, yeah. yes, and then maybe you think and the that captain's like, "What in the hell are you doing?" Yes, yes, yes. Uh, I, I I thought it would be a good idea to you know keep up on the on the skills you know keep up on the you know, archery Listen, and all that. You can stuff. play cowboys and Indians all you want to once we get to Angola. I, I was thinking more that- of Robin Hood actually, but <laughs> point taken, point taken. Yes. Very well. Very well. What is wrong with them professor types? <laughs> He's really kind of not 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 taking with the professor quite so much at this point <laughs> after that little stunt. Uh, there's right. also some other businessmen. There are some businessmen on the ship as well. Um, uh, Percy or Priscilla, depending on what you want to call her, is constantly asking you for you know information. What's going on? What's going on? She's somebody that you know has definitely followed Ian's exploits and, and written about him before. You know. <laughs> <laughs> well, we know why. We know why. <laughs> Uh, exactly, but um, there are a couple. You've met a couple of the other passengers are working for some kind of investment firm in America. That it's, they're involved with some kind of Angolan interests over there. Um, you met uh, Car- Carl Mueller and uh, and Zechariah Foster, mm-hmm. two mm-hmm. fellows from there. And uh, it's um, God only knows what night it is now. You're getting. You're actually getting pretty close to Angola, but. Um, Mueller has started up a friendly game of cards. Cards. Oh. Good. Invited anybody who'd like to to play some some poker. They play with them to pass some of the time away. Now, the Vic, Victor has been um, going around the ship, either aiding the ship's doctor, or or being the ship's doctor. You know, whatever the case may be. With the with the sailors. Okay. Uh, Ian will go and, and look at the game and you know to, to see what's what's what kind of game is it? Is it poker? It's poker. Yeah. So he you know he drops uh, 
a little bit of money in there and uh, and sits down to play with the uh, is this the crew is is this the uh businessmen there's two businessmen a couple members of the crew the first mate you know is off duty so he's he's gotten involved in it and you said the the businessmen were uh foster and uh mueller carl and mueller and zachariah foster and they're both Americans. All right. So both I start, Americans. you know, I start playing with them and, you know, I immediately start talking to them, you know, asking them, well, uh, businessmen in Angola, uh, what manner of uh, business, uh, what line of work are you in? Are you in uh, what's there in Angola uh, to draw your interest? Oh, there's all kinds of stuff over there that yeah i don't want to get into too much proprietary information but they got interest in animals and, and exports of some of their stuff i guess there's some kind of various various woods that are pretty exotic you try to bring over and other things you, you know kind of what kind of uh, empathy score do you have there uh empathy uh hang on there is my that's a skill, right? Uh, it yeah, is. It is four. It is four. Yes. Okay. Um, you can tell he's being a little cagey, like he's not quite giving you everything. Hmm. Yes, you know, average, you know, with the average result of two. Yeah, yeah. He's he's being um. What's the word I'm looking for? He's he's using a bit of discretion. Hmm. <laughs> Something that Ian's really not good at. <laughs> not really. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I say, well, animals. Well, as an aside, as an aside Tim, uh, uh, so Cord is just kind of like hanging around, watching the game, always keeping an eye to see if somebody's keeping an eye on them, because he knows these sailors are, you know, like rats of the sea, right? <laughs> Cargo ship sailors, you know, right? Everybody's watching. That's why he's gonna keep be keeping an eye on. So Ian says, uh, animals. Ian blabbering uh, away. No. Animals, well, uh, it's funny. Have you do any business in uh, Manitoba? Uh, it seems <laughs> they have very large ducks uh, in, that part, in that part of the world. Uh, Professor, uh, do you play poker? Uh, I, I've been, been, been known to uh, play a little bit in the past. Uh, really, yes. I'm mean, really not quite, I'm not good at it at all, but I, I will play the fun, yes. Yes. Join us, join us. Oh, These uh, Americans uh, deal in uh, exotic woods and, and, and animals of all sorts. And I'm telling oh. them about the ducks up in Canada. Oh, yes, yes. The, the large prehistoric ducks of, of <laughs> Manitoba. Yeah, yes. <laughs> I am. Uh, and uh, is the doctor is doctor at the game or not? Yes. Oh, the doctor, sorry. Uh, actually, uh, Victor has been giving, like, with the approval of the captain and first mate mainly, uh, physicals to the to the staff. And what he's trying to do is 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 find some good specimens for uh, athletic specimens to box. And he wants to uh, generate, like, in the lower decks of the ship at night in the downtime, a little boxing match with some betting going on. During this trip, so that's what he's been trying to do. Y'all oh, get that? Oh, yeah, you can, you can, you can yeah, you can box with some of these guys. Okay, well, good. Yeah, yeah. I pick, I pick two primary specimens and then try to organize something uh, late one night when the captain's snoozing. All right, all right. Well, get a crowd call, down we're, there. We're gonna, we're, we're gonna call this. Uh, we're gonna call this the same night. Okay. All right. So in the meantime. Anybody, anybody actually involved in this game? I'm, I'm looking for actual rules for gambling, so I'm not finding them right off the top of my head, but I'm going to just go with the pros rolls and see who rolls highest. I guess roll gambling, yeah. Yeah, roll, yeah. This, this, this you're going to have to roll. Yeah. All right. Yes, I will. I will do long. Uh, could we... Uh, uh, you know, synergize uh, gambling with uh, empathy. 
because it's a game of bluffing and uh yeah yeah i think you could you know uh, so actually could we could we somehow i mean they, we've worked together before right so maybe it's possible we we we've, we've kind of come up with a little scam we do right <laughs> Uh, where we synergize and work together, uh, teamwork together. I'm not sure if the rules will allow it, but, you know. I don't know, because poker isn't really a team sport, though. Well, I know, but... Maybe hmm. you've picked up some tells or something, and yeah. Ian... Or, uh, old West gamblers used to, to make it a team effort and fleece the rest of the oh, table. Well, yeah, yeah, fleece the table is why some of yeah. <laughs> Okay. All right. Yeah, I'll, I'll go with that. I'll go with that. You, you guys All give right. each other a two die boost. Okay. Uh, All, right. So, All right. Let's roll them up. Okay. All right. Oh, wow. Let's see. Uh, so, so we have two more dice. Is that what you said? Yeah, yes. two more dice to roll. Wow. So I only have three. Three I have three. Okay. Okay, I'm not doing this right. So it's the evens or the odds? It's the, you, you can choose, but choose whatever. Uh, but yeah. oh. strictly raw, it recommends going by the odd, uh, by the even numbers. So even numbers <laughs> are successes. You know. I find it easy to do it like that, but uh, even numbers are successes. Okay, I got four. Nice. Okay, got four. And let's, uh, okay, uh, and then Mueller. Okay. Well, I can tell you, Carl Mueller is winning. Um, yeah. Ian is not doing very well. These last few hands, he's, he's, he's actually on a bit of a losing streak. Um, and uh, Swaster and, and, and uh, Julian, the professor, are, are Julius are like on a kind of like neck and neck. But overall, Mueller is definitely kind of starting to take Ian's money. Cool. Okay. In the meantime, in the next room where some of the other sailors are uh, involved, all involved in a bit of bit of clandestine fun there's a boxing tournament going on okay i have um set up these physicals and pick the uh the better specimen of the two hyped it up amongst the sailors and i want to uh you know i got the other the other contender he would have his his man or his caller you know his, his ringside and i've got my boy Right. Um, and when they're fighting, I want to gamble on this with an active plus. So that would be advantage of three. But I also want to lend the guardian uh, to my uh, my boy, the contestant, as I'm calling the match from the side. So you're you want to you don't want to box. You want you want this other guy to box. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm more of a promoter, but I'm 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 gambling on the situation in the first place. But I'm also lending him the plus two on the fence while he's boxing. Oh, okay. You know, so you're saying so you're shouting, look side. out, load all that kind of stuff. You know? Yeah, that kind of thing. That's sure it is victory. Me. <laughs> but I yeah. Gotcha. All right. I see what you're doing. Okay, we'll just you know have this guy roll like um, eight dice. Okay. All right. Now, of course, you're betting on your guy. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. I mean, I could flip it and then tell the other guy the wrong thing. <laughs> yeah, I'm bad. Um. So you're betting on him because you're helping him, or you, or you got the best guy. Is that your idea? Uh, yeah. Exactly. Okay. I see what you're saying. All right. All right. That's five successes. That's five successes. All right. And we'll have the other fellow. Yeah, your guy definitely handily beats 
this other fellow. I'm not even. I'm not even uh, gonna like you know make. And what's, okay. what's your gambling? And skill? the whole room explodes into. Yeah. Uh, the gambling skill is um, the average is is five so two plus. Well, actually, it's five plus. So I've got the active, which is more sports related, which is boxing yeah. is what I'm mainly picked. So that's six. So your average is three. Yeah. Average okay. Is three. Yeah. No. Yeah. I'm not. You're. You definitely. You definitely picked the right guy. Um. Based on your knowledge of of really pretty much doping things, but after yeah. the room explodes, after <laughs> the room explodes, one of the uh, one of the other sailors says, "All right, right, but enough of this crap. How about you box? <laughs> Come on, you keep shouting. Look, yeah, get out of the way. All this other crap, like he can't do it. Okay, can you box? Come on, box, box you." Yeah, you can box me. What are you afraid? <laughs> he le- he looks both ways as the money. I- I'm sure the money's being gathered up, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. And uh, okay. Now, when I look at this guy using my research <laughs> and my doctor's, you know, my medical thing, what what do I see about him? I've actually I've actually did a physical on him earlier. You know what I mean? As far as one of the sailors. Uh, give me a, what's your medicine skill? So the medicine is seven plus. It's eight. Okay. Well, I mean, it was eight with first aid, so it's seven. Seven. Okay. Yeah, average being four. He seems like he's in good health. You know, I mean, it doesn't seem like this most advanced specimen ever. You have any other skills that might help you with this? Um. I w- well, the research. But uh, what? And I got brawl. Uh. Let's hope. That's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. Um, if I feel, what are you yeah, trying? Put, to put put your money put your money where the where your mouth is. I put my money down. I, I he plops down. You know, plops down his scotch. I say you're scared. I think the doctor's scared. What do you say, fellas? Okay, he plops down his scotch. Does he look inebriated in any kind of way? <laughs> Oh man, yeah. Okay, I, I'm setting the money to the side or whatever. I'm telling my boy to hold, you know, hold it, and I'm stepping in the ring in the center, and I'm beckoning him onward and taking uh, taking the the shirt off. All right. And uh, it's time for initiative, pal. All right. <laughs> now, how do we do initiative again? You roll your the number of de- whatever your initiative score is. It's your dexterity plus ah. your intelligence. You roll that. See see who goes first. Okay. You got a mission six. Like seven, seven dice, or what is it? Yeah. I mean, it's total. You got th- three. You got so three. So, same to our thing, three, three, successes. three successes. Is that what you mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so I roll my average. Has, this guy has three successes as well. What's your dexterity? Dexterity is two. Okay, he's got dexterity. He's got me. First. All right. So, All it's right. a brawl. So you're going to roll your defense against his brawl score. <laughs> God almighty. All right. Uh, defense is, uh, well, total is four. Okay. So you're rolling four dice. So, yeah. All righty. <laughs> All right. Two. Roll the average. What'd he get? <laughs> he rolled six. <laughs> Oh, are you four, kidding me? You take four non-lethal wounds. This guy <laughs> pops you. Okay. Also, wait, pops wait, wait, me wait. straight back. Right. Wait, wait, wait. What's your what's your body score? Okay, the body score is two. He's just yeah. He just hey, knocked me. Your, what's your what's your strength score? Uh, strength is three. Oh, so he doesn't. He just okay. He's knocked you back five feet, and you're stunned. stunned. Like you can't do you can't do anything. You're just sitting there. All you yeah, the crowd catches stuff, me. Uh, yeah. Yeah. All right, <laughs> I'm shaking. I'm shaking my head like that, and, and uh, I can't. I can't focus in on where he is. <clears throat> now you can. You can spend some style to 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 negate those. To negate, you know, if you spend two style, you can negate one of those non-lethal wounds. What's up to you? Yeah, I want to. I want to do that. Spend the two, and uh, you know, I'll have the crowd kind of catch me and push me back in there. All right. No, you're. But you're. You're like just stunned on your feet. So. So it wasn't quite as wasn't quite as bad as you thought, but 
You still take yeah, three non lethal. He did wounds. knock me for a loop. So three non lethal. Yeah, so you got three non lethal wounds. All right. And is it my go? So no, because you're stunned. All you can do okay. is defend at this point. Gotcha. All right. And the guys, the guys, you know, going around like this, cheering, whatnot. And you hear all of a sudden you hear gunfire from the top of the ship, uh -oh. and you start to hear like the clanging of a bell. Oh, jeez. Uh -oh. And shouts, and you can hear you know feet running around all over the place. All right. Well, it, Victor's discombobulated right now. He's just <clears throat> turning around looking for his money before and old boy all, gets out. All the sailors are like grabbing whatever their money is and, like, and running to the running up to the top of the ship. All right. In the meantime, same thing in the poker game. You know, guys are getting up. Um, the sailors that are there are getting up, running to the top of the ship. Everybody else, you know, the uh, the two businessmen look completely just shocked. So, so we hear the gunshots as well. So, uh, yeah. right. uh, what's this, pirates? In the open sea? Uh, uh, professor, uh, grab your gun. Uh, gun? Uh, where's, where's McNally? And I, I start, I rummage through my, uh, I don't know if he, I run back to my cabin to grab yes. my, my uh, sword and uh, gun belt. I will grab my gun and my bow and arrow. <laughs> yeah, McNally was wearing his one of his gun belts, right? The one with the big ass knife on the other side. So he's probably in the back. So he looks he he looks around to see what the heck's going on. All righty. And Doc, what are you doing? Well, the Doc is kind of staggering for a second. Yeah, I, I, I'm 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 just trying to get my bearings and, and find <laughs> find the exit after I locate my money. Right. Or whatever's left of it. Right. And McNally, you could, uh, you're beyond the deck itself. Yeah, McNally can see there's several small boats. It's dark now. It's, it's, it's to the point where it's like um, late night, almost to the point where it's starting to get into the wee hours of the morning mm -hmm. because the gambling and the boxing has been going on for quite a bit of time. Mm -hmm. The captain's up on the deck already. You can tell the captain might be a little bit soused. Oh, no. you, know, you notice the captain likes to drink every once in a while. But... The ship is being accosted by several other smaller ships. I mean, some of these are just like little more than rowboats. And there's a band of obviously some sort of pirates jumping on there. And they're just like a completely mixed lot. Some of them are, are African. Some of them, you know, obviously look like Asiatic. Some of them look almost like Pacific Islander. Right. Some more Caucasian, but like essentially a lot, a lot of mixed. Right. You know? As as somebody might say a long time ago, so just a degenerate bunch of mongrels. <laughs> I was gonna say, yeah. <laughs> you know, <laughs> to give you the Lovecraft and the other kind of thing. Yes, just, yes, you know. yes. <laughs> and right. a lot of them just—I mean—they have these bizarre tattoos on them. You know, mm. some of them on some of them on their arms, some of them on their necks, some of them even on their face. Um, but there's like strange, like you know, strange-looking symbols um, marked all over them. But the the battle is kind of joined. Some of them have guns. Some of them just have knives or, or you know passes for like a cutlass or a sword or right. or whatever. Um, some of them even have like a, like things like axes or um, a gaff, mm. which is like a motley assortment of weapons. And the crew is fighting back with whatever they have. Okay. Some have some have guns. You know some don't. The professor is going to target anybody that has a ranged weapon and try and take them out. Okay. And with an arrow. arrow. With arrow. An arrow. Okay, great. It is initiative time, kids. Okay, oh, so let me do that again. Oh, roll this. Okay. Okay, the pirates are on zero. <laughs> it's always nice when the pirates are on zero. The, the crew of the ship is on two. Okay. Yes. Yeah. It is excellent that the pirates go on zero because I go on one. <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right. Uh, what, do, what do you got, Bear Cord? The cord is three? Four. Four. Jose is like the freaking initiative king. <laughs> you know? So uh, I rolled either high or nothing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Julius is on two. Yep. And by this time, the, the doctor, if he, if he wanted to go up to the deck and stagger up there and see what's going on, if he didn't want to, he doesn't have to. 
Well, it, the doctor, uh, Victor's looking around for his money. I guess the guy he gave it to, his boxer. Yeah. I, you know, he's probably ran off with the, oh, with the crowd. Oh, they, they've all, yeah. Yeah, so um, anyway, he's looking for some wake-up juice. You know, that uh, vodka or whatever he has on him near and slamming it, and then he's make, making his way up, but he probably ain't going to get there actually until, you know what I mean, it's going down the second round. To be honest okay, well, yeah, give me, give me, a, give me a, a initiative roll, so I'm going to put you in the second round. Okay. Uh, that is your intelligence plus your dexterity, and just roll them dice. Where will Victor end up? That is two. Okay, all right, so a lot of people on two. All righty, cool. So, Cord, you're up. All right, so Cord will try to take cover behind some crates and shoot at one of the gun-wielding uh, pirates. Go right ahead. All righty then, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> seven, okay. Yeah, you've just, you've just shot yourself a guy. All righty then. A varmint. You shot yourself a varmint. You shot him pretty good. And he's actually pitched off the side of the ship. Oh, nice. Splash. All righty. It is now... Um, In the drink, baby. Julius and the crew. We will let Julius go first. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Here we go. <clears throat> Dr. J. <laughs> Boom. And I get huh, one success. Yeah, one success. So your arrow yeah. misses. It, it whips past the pirate. Yes. Oh well. So ready, and the crew themselves. So the crew actually gets to gets to roll here for a second, and hmm, that's interesting. No way I do that. Yeah. All righty. The crew is not doing so well against the pirates. Uh -oh. They are a little, they're just, they seem like, you know, they're, they're not getting killed themselves, but as they're attacking, they almost seem frightened of these pirates. Uh -huh. yeah. uh, it is now Ian's turn. Yes. So Ian's, you know, late because he's been getting his gear. Uh, have I run into Percy at any point in this thing? Is she on deck or is she hiding? You haven't seen Percy yet. Oh, okay, okay. So you know, I look around to see her, but when I notice the pirates, I you know immediately try to take some sort of cover uh, behind the deck and and aim at uh, somebody with uh, with a firearm. So I, I'll try and shoot somebody with a firearm. Uh, with okay. My, with my revolver. So here would we that go. be the professor, or who would you like to shoot? Aha, no, any of the pirates with a, okay. with a, <laughs> with a rifle or with a gun. So that is, oh my god, I'm rolling so badly tonight. That's only two successes out of nine dice. Can you believe that? Okay, you missed your pirate. Okay. It's dark. Oh. It's dark. It's what it is. All righty. <laughs> so what are the pirates doing? First of all... The pirates are, are looking at the crew itself. And, oh, oh, Lord. Lordy, so, lordy, lordy. So three members of the crew have been have been hit or, uh, you know, whacked by pirates. You don't know if they're dead or not, but they've certainly been injured. And let's see. You hear a, a scream, a high-pitched scream. And now you see Percy. It seems, oh. as though, it seems as though Percy has been grabbed by one of these pirates. Oh, and, no. Th and the pirate now recognizing that Percy is a woman, uh -oh. instead of trying to kill her, is trying to abscond with her. Uh -oh. And also at this point, the pirates are also a little mad at you guys. So, oh. <laughs> uh, Cor, just roll defense for me. Do I get any bonus if I got behind cover? or? Yeah. Give, your, give yourself two dice. Just do that. All right, that's on a one and a two and a three and a four. Okay. The, five. The five, five. Five. Yeah. Oh. All right. So your cover seems to to um, deflect the bullets that are coming your way and also the thrown knives. Oh, nice. Nice. 
In the meantime, Ian. Uh, is it my turn? Oh, wow. <laughs> is it my turn again? Or are they shooting at me? No, you just want to roll defense. Oh, you're, roll you're... defense. Uh, do I get any modifier from cover? Because I'm trying to lean against the railing and maybe that provides some sort of cover. Yeah, lean against the railing? Well, we're on the we're on the upper deck, right? So they're on the lower deck. Is that how? Because I'm leaning down and shooting. Okay, is yeah, that, is I that got you. the I situation? Got you. Okay, yeah. You'll, you'll get a couple dice this time, but okay. then they're gonna run up and find find you. Okay, so here we go. Oh, good roll. One, two, three, four, five on defense. All right. Once again, their their bullets are kind of slamming into the the metal. Yes. Uh, and the professor. Ah, uh, yes. Well, the professor actually just remembered where his dice were Ooh, in nice. my in my dungeon master's bag over okay. here. <laughs> anyway, pretty, pretty high defense score, don't you? You got like seven dice or something. Uh, four. I thought you had. I thought you had calculated. Oh, calculated, or... calculated. That's right. So I put my intelligence my, plus plus, dexterity. plus my dexterity. Yes, so seven. Seven, dice, seven, seven dice. Seven dice. Here we go. Here we go. Son of a... <laughs> two. It happens. Two. It you should take the average. <laughs> uh. Two. Two. <laughs> oh, you take one lethal as a, as a bullet. Ah! Laggard. Okay, so now how's that... How do you actually take damage? Like, what's that? You have your health. Health, health score. Off, of, off your health score. So just for, for like, or you can do, I would usually write next to it, there's like one L, like you have one lethal wound right now. Health score? Yeah. Body, was, body plus willpower, young man. Yeah, yeah. So, okay, you, have, so you, okay, you, have okay. health of, you have health with four, so now you, you've just taken one. Okay. One thing of damage. Got it. Okay. Thank you. So, body plus will. Okay. Yeah, so you've you've got uh, one L, one L. Uh, you've got one lethal wound. Okay. All righty, and now we're back up to the top of the round. All right. So th th there's a pirate carrying off uh, Percy. Yeah. So he, so he's moving across the deck towards the rail. Is that what what the, what he's doing? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And okay, so basically, between duty and loyal, I can't let him carry her away. So, um, I'm thinking th this is a steamship, so no, no, no ropes and stuff everywhere. Oh, there, there's some. <laughs> oh, there's, there's got to be some ropes. That's what I was gonna do. So, last <laughs> one, then. No, no lasso. Uh, he'd swing, right? Use brawling plus acrobatics. Yes. <laughs> it would be... be or do, you have, do you have athletics? I have athletics and acrobatics and brawling, whichever. What's your, what's your, what's your, uh, what's your athletics score? Six. And what's your acrobatics score? Four. Okay, you can synergize them. You can roll eight dice. Oh. This is going to be a bit hard. Um, All right. So I'm going to say this is going to be... To swing down there, what's your, what's your attempt to do is to swing down and actually pop him too? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you're probably going to be brawling. And so brawl plus. So, which is exactly the same. Okay. Yeah. All okay. right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, you roll that. Yeah. Roll eight dice. And I'm going to put a style point into that. Okay. Right. Nice. All righty. One, two, three, four, five successes. Five successes. All right. Um, you pop this guy. You pop this guy for for um, three lethal or three non lethal. You right. knock Percy out of his grasp. Get to cover, man. So what, what what does that look like there? Yeah, so basically, he he was like he had just dodged behind some crates, and when he sees that, he will like climb on the crate, grab the rope, and and like put the heels of his cowboy boots right into the guy's back. Huh. Nice. <laughs> and then he, you know, he's he's in a duster right over his because it's night. So he'll he'll turn around, you know, with the revolver ready. You know, back then nobody used the two-handed, right? Like military, right. always one-handed. 
And it's like, get the cover, man. I got this, Marmots. All right, so you did. Yeah, okay, great. So you get you get a stop point back for that because that was cool. <laughs> <laughs> you also um, you also knock him over the railing of the ship. He hits the water as well. Woo! <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> All right, Victor. Now what? Okay, Victor's Victor's down in the hole still. He had he had poured himself a drink. He's hearing all this going up above himself. Uh, he takes a drink, looks down, and notices the blood dripping into it. And says, oh, damn it! And throws it, throws it up against the wall, and breaks it. And picks up his shirt and runs upstairs and busts into the scene. Now, what am I seeing exactly? Because I know the professor got hit, right? Right. You're just seeing sailors and pirates. You're just run all over the place. It's just, just, it's just cacophony. It's, it's crazy. It's just okay. Nice. I'll try to find my colleagues and uh, if uh, see this big cowboy swinging, popping something, and knocking some guy off the right off the right, right off the edge. Yeah. And where is uh, where's the professor and Ian at? It ends up on some kind of top railing. The professor is, you know, this is just. I, I, I would have been on higher ground. Yeah. So okay, so so I don't I don't see you fellas. Okay. So, um, all right, well, uh, uh, first I'm going to any of the sailors that were hit and maybe laying on the ground to try yep. to provide some kind of first aid to get them back in the action. All right. So I think you said about three of them had hit the deck. Yeah. Okay. So that, that's what I'll do. I'll, I'll run over to one of them and, and uh, perform some first aid, which I got eight in that. Okay. So, okay. Um, that's four. Always the average. That's four, and I believe every every I think every two successes converts a uh, lethal wound to a non-lethal wound, and a lethal to a. So you're you're. Yeah. I'll have to look back because this guy is a is a non-named character. You are you are assisting this guy, preventing him from bleeding out. From a nasty knife. Yeah, yeah. In, in, in fact, I'm using my shirt and tearing off strips or whatever like that if I have to for bandaging. Yep. First right thing. On. So I'm trying to get. Right on. All right, Julius. Yes, Orange yes. Julius. Now, um, I'll be trying to staunch the flow of blood where I've been winged. Right. All right. Uh, taking, taking my you know, kerchief. <laughs> Stucking it into the wound, uh, but by that point, I don't think I'm going to try and use my bow anymore. I might be a little too strenuous, so I will just pull out my gun and and fire at the at the nearest uh, pirate that I can see. Roll. Okay, what do I roll for? For what do I roll for a pistol? What do you have? What kind of firearm skill do you have? I have what fi firearm skill? What? What, there's a firearm skill, and then you add the the uh, damage of the gun. There's two revolvers, like the light revolver, the regular. I've got, I've got a light revolver. I got yeah, like a thirty-two. So, right, so, so I believe that's a two. That's uh, a two, two lethal. L. Yeah. yeah. So whatever you have for firearms, you add two to that. So you don't have a firearm skill, do you? No, no, no. Oh, no, no. so it's okay, your so dexterity. You're to, you're, you're so it's my you're, dexterity and but, the... But your dexterity minus two because you don't have a firearm skill yeah. because you're unskilled. So you're rolling zero dice plus two because that's the rating of the gun. So roll two dice. Two dice. <laughs> Son of a... <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> but it's impressive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it looks impressive, yeah. It looks good. How? If only these guys were more superstitious. All right, no, the crew is the crew is now the crew is now uh up. And they do actually manage to to pop one of the pirates. Okay. How many pirates do we figure we have we're dealing with here all together? Oh, That's man. chaos. It's, it's, chaos. It's, it's chaos. It's chaos. Yeah. There's like right. at least, you know, okay. there's 12, 15, something like that. Uh, you know? Would I, uh, next round, I mean, uh, I did that for a fact, but I mean, would I still be, would I be able to use my bow and arrow? Or? Sure. Okay. You don't actually start to take penalties until you to, you hit zero. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. You're not dead till negative five, so you, you, you've you got some oh. time. You know, you're not. Okay. You're not. All right. Yeah, and you, you're shooting into a group of sailors and pirates, so good luck yeah. with that. Yeah, that'll be fine. Ian, what are, what are you up to? <laughs> okay, so Cord 
uh, took out the pirate that had Percy, right? That's correct. Yeah. Okay, so she's she's safe with Cord. Uh, so well, I just well, he, he, he's safe with Cord. Uh, that's true. So, uh, I don't know. Just this, just is there a pirate that looks like the leader? I don't know if somebody with a. Uh, oh yeah. Uh, so I try to look at that guy, whatever he is, and shoot him. Okay. And uh, that, well, I think I'll just do that. Um, and and you know, run across to to get closer to him, so I can shoot him. Okay. Okay. So here we go. Come on. That's four successes. Four successes. Okay. Yeah, you actually you actually wing this guy. Oh, wow. nice. Ah! All right. And now it's the pirate's turn. All right. Then. Let's see. Let's see how the crew is doing. Oh, the crew is actually doing okay this time. The pirates have not hurt any of them. What about? Uh, What about you fellas? Okay, Cor, go ahead and roll some defense for me. Oh, four. Nice. Okay, four. once again, you've managed to escape. This to this at this point, they're actually coming up to you with like with like melee type weapons. There's a couple of them that are yeah. really close to you. Uh, all right, Doctor. Need to roll defense. All right. Defense. Okay, four. Two. Two? Yeah. Okay. You take one lethal wound as while you're doing of doing first aid, a sailor, you know, just whacks you with something that looks like a machete. Oh, oh man. All right. Where's your health right now? Well, I use, I use two style points to take off the non-lethal, I guess, right? Right, right. Or, when, I, when we were boxing, was that lethal or non-lethal? That was non-lethal. That? So you took, you took. You okay, took, so I got uh, one non-lethal, non-lethal and one lethal. Well, you know you have. But I used two style points to, to take off. Yeah, but you to have, take off I, two, right? No, you took off one. It's two to one. When you okay. Do, when you're when you're so got afterwards. Yeah, it's a two to one ratio when you do that. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, so so I got two non-lethal and one lethal, right? I thought you had three non-lethal. I thought this guy really hit because yeah, I think he originally hit you for four. And you took okay. One of them. All right. All right. Yep. I was, uh, yeah. So what's your what's your actual health rating normally? Uh, the health is four total. Okay. Oh. So you're at zero. So you're, you're not doing great. So what this so is going to mean? What this is going to mean next time is you can take um, only one action. You can normally you can take an attack action, a defense action, and a move action. Now you can only do one of those three. If you try to do more than that, you strain yourself and take more damage. And that would be bad. Yeah. That would so. be bad. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Because, um, because you count first the lethal and then the non-lethal, yeah. you are exhausted. Yeah. So you're you're not disabled. You're exhausted. Yeah. You're, you're, so, yeah. so if you take extra actions. The damage you take is non-lethal. Right. Whereas if you were disabled, the damage you would take for extra actions would be lethal. That's this guy. Yeah, I'm just pushing myself beyond. Uh, right. You right. know. Um, okay. All right. Well, that's what you're at right now, but we'll get back to you. <laughs> uh, yeah. Let's see, Ian. Oh boy, here we go. Defense is not really my strong suit, and that's actually a two. On the fence, the average, not bad. It's not bad, but it's not good enough. Yeah. As another machete wielding pirate. Oh no. Slashes you. Yeah. And finally, the professor. Wait, how much damage do I take? One. You oh, take one. one yeah. Okay, so if I have a calculated defense of seven, I can have an average of three or four. Yeah, but in right. combat, yeah, in combat, you don't take the average. Combat, you roll. Okay. One, two, three. Excellent. Okay. Excellent. You do not get hit by this this guy's axe. Good. Now I'm telling you what I'm got, what I'm doing right here is like the, the game master doesn't have to roll if they don't want to. So these these guys are are pretty standard people. 
Mm-hmm. So they have a defense pool of two, which means you're actually real rolling versus um, two. Because yeah, they have a defense pool of four, so the average of that is two. Okay. So these guys essentially have an armor class of two. You've got to get more than two um, right. to, to hit them. And likewise, they have an attack pool of six dice. So I'm okay. just giving them the average of three dice. Great. So pretty much you just have to roll higher than three. Right. Or, or you have to roll three or better. Yeah. To not get injured. Okay. So it makes the combat go faster. You know? Yeah, I like it. it. All righty. So we're back up to... Uh, uh, wait. Oh, I'm sorry. And... There is a, another scream. Oh, boy. Another scream. <laughs> As you realize that Percy didn't quite hide herself good enough. And no. another another pirate is grabbing her. But there is one more scream. And this scream is coming from the water. Ooh. It's coming from the direction of the water right where Cord knocked somebody overboard. Uh-oh. The lady scream or a man scream? It's a man scream. It's high-pitched. Oh, okay. It's a scream of a, a person in, in pain and terror. It's either the sharks or Cthulhu. One of those. <laughs> or, or maybe both. <laughs> well, what's too busy? Can we, can, we, can we look and see? I mean... Sure. Okay, I look and see. What, 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 what do I see is going on down there? Okay. This man is in the water, and you can see the fins, and it's clear that he's being consumed by at least two sharks. Oh, sure. In, in a horrible way. The, the, there's not very much light, but the ship does have some light, so you can't really see the color of the blood, but you can see there's a darker stain on the water spreading out. And you have to make a horror roll. It's a horror. Horror. It's, it's a horror because this this is we use the horror mechanic because you're watching somebody die horribly. Okay. It's a willpower, right? It is a willpower roll. It's double your willpower. It's a double your willpower, so okay. twice the dice pool. I mean, the difficulty of this is two, so you want to roll higher than two. I roll two. Right on the dot. Okay. No, I, I think actually you need at least two, so that's that's you don't need. Okay, so it's, it's you're shaken, but you don't take any sanity damage. But not stirred. Yes. <laughs> oh, 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 that one. Oh, oh. <laughs> did anybody? Did anybody lo- else look? Not right now. I'm, I'm okay. busy with the pirates. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. There you go. So horror right. roll is always your will. Will times two. Will times two. Okay. If you start to fail it. Then yeah. you start to take sanity. Sanity. Okay. Yep. Yep. Cool. 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 Okay. And I believe, I believe you actually have to. Let's double check. I believe you actually have to just hit it, hit the difficulty or better. I don't think you have to exceed it. But I believe, anyhow. If it works like damage, the, the, you know, it would usually have to fail. And I guess you take the difference yeah. in damage, right? Right. Right. That's exactly. how this game works. For most things. You know, even if you hit somebody and you hit the, the the number on the nose, you're just grazing the guy, but you're not hurting him, right? You need to exceed right, right. in order to inflict the difference in damage. Yeah, equal to or greater. Yeah, equal. To, okay, I was double checking. It's page yeah. page thirty nine. All right, yeah. cool. Excellent. 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 But yeah, but a little unsettling, but you're okay. Mm-hmm. All right, cords up. All right. So uh, basically, so she's getting carried away by another of these. Another 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 two pirates now. Another two pirates. Okay. Um, towards the screams uh, on the rail. <laughs> this is awesome. Okay. So if there's two of them, right? Yeah. So basically what Cord's going to do, since I did read the rules, <laughs> and are they, they'd be right next to each other because they're carrying her, right? Right. So basically, I would uh, run up to them and use, a, even though I'm going to lose my active defense, I'd use a sweep attack. Okay. So basically, I'm like using my pistol battle to like smack. Oh, both okay, of them. yeah, awesome, awesome. Uh, so, so that means I make a brawl or a melee attack at minus two for each target. Right. That's at minus four. So that's uh, one, two, three. And I'm going to use a style point for that. Come on. And it's all targets when you reach. If an ally. 
what I'm trying to figure out is if uh, make a brawl attack. So I guess I make one attack and they each defend against it. Is right. What it I mean, it's a melee attack if you're using like the buddy or pistol. Right. Yeah. But what I'm saying is that it's not one attack against each. It's one attack at minus four. Um, because that that counts. They each have to defend against my full roll, right? Yeah, I believe that's how it works. No. So that's one, two, three, seven. All right, let's go. Come on, come on. That is uh, four. That's four. Okay. They both take two non-lethal. All right. <laughs> Hopefully that stopped them and they'll they'll gang up on me next round. They probably will. Victor, what are we doing? Victor has just been sliced at, and he's a little bit ticked because he was performing some kind of first aid. And um, now I didn't say when he was when he was in that boxing match, he had taken some of his tape, kept up his hands, but he had the brass knuckles underneath him. All right, so that's what he was trying to do, and he still got that on. So what he do? Look, looks up at him, real ticked off, and swings up at him. I want to use a style point to add one more. Okay. And it would be rolling seven with my brawl. All right. Just a cup. All right. All right. Uh, cold cocky. Upper cutting. That is a four. You do, in fact, inflict two non lethal on this guy and cold cock and uppercut him. All right. It's not, enough, it's not enough to stun him. It's not enough to knock him back, but it definitely got his attention. Well, hopefully, it loosened that sword out of his grasp. Yes, yeah, it's it's not enough to. Uh, well, I mean, it's not enough to do that, and it's also, yeah. you know, you've got this problem that you really don't have any active defense now, when it comes to history. But yeah, no. okay, sucks. All right, Julius, what are we doing? Um, yes, I'm going to. Uh... You know, you know, like you have guys like uh, pretty much in your face. In my face, oh man. Uh, too close for the pistol? No, or no, I... you can point blank range. I'll probably give you a couple dice. Point blank range? I'll give you a couple dice for point blank range. You can roll four oh. dice. Hey. Ooh. Son of a, uh, one. One. Yeah. You missed. Good grief, man. <laughs> you sure you don't want me to roll for you? <laughs> don't let yeah. Del roll for you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You know. All right. And now it's the crew's turn, I believe. Yes. Once, once again, the crew will attempt to to route some of these pirates, and they do a horrible job. <laughs> if I, they're they are definitely a little, little uh, full of some trepidation, and the captain is screaming at them, "You filthy cowards! You candy asses!" Yeah, yeah, pretty much, pretty much. Okay, Ian's turn. All right. So I got a guy attacking me with a sword. So I draw my saber with the with the left hand and use that to parry the guy and uh i shoot him point blank with the uh with the gun in my other hand okay so can i get a couple of dice for the range i'll give you i'll give you a couple of dice for that yeah all right yeah so let's see hang on a second hang on one second We all wonder what's going to happen. Will he kill him? <laughs> For the pin to drop. <laughs> Dang, no act of defense. So. Sorry about yeah. that. Uh, let's see. <laughs> I got well, that three, four, five. Five hits. Five successes. All yes. right. Yeah. Good. So you stun this guy, you knock him back, you've done three lethal wounds to him. Nice. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Now, is, was that the leader? 
No, it wasn't. No, oh, it wasn't. Man. It just parried yeah. with the left hand and then, bam, shot him point blank. Okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's the pirate's turn. The pirate, the pirate that was attempting to kill Ian is really uh, incapable of any action. Um, the pirates that um, were carrying... Um, we're carrying Percy, are now both upset at Cord. <laughs> so, Cord, here's how it works. They're both going to attempt to attack you with knives. The first time you have, you have your full defense, the second time you have to take two dice off your defense. It doesn't matter. I don't have active defense anymore, so... And passive defense doesn't go down, so it's passive against everybody. Oh, passive, okay. Yeah, because yeah. he, he used a sweep. He used a sweep action, sweep. so... Oh, right, okay, you did a total attack, yeah. Yeah. So I'm screwed anyway, so... <laughs> yeah. You're rolling your body. So he's like, bring it! Yeah, he doesn't care. <laughs> I, got one, I got two successes. You get what? Two successes. On the first one? Yeah. All right, so now you roll one lethal. die. Yeah, for one lethal. Yeah, no, the passive defense does, never goes down. Right, right. Yeah, so it's... So like, he keeps it's rolling, rolling okay, too. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, you keep rolling, too. Okay, that's right. Oh, man, he really has read the rules. Yeah. <laughs> you bet. And uh, you know what? I'm going to spend a style point. Why not? Oh, three. <laughs> three successes? Okay. So, 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 so wow. yeah. okay. okay, so you don't you don't take any damage from the second knife. Yeah. Let's take one. Okay, right on, huh? Okay, you're doing pretty good here. Uh, -oh. uh let's see. What do the pirates do to the crew? That was my favorite bus that you saw the bit. <laughs> All right, another crew member goes down. <laughs> and let's see. The leader of the pirates is kind of upset at Ian, though. Oops. I bet, because I yeah. winged him. Yeah. <laughs> and he, and he, he, takes, he takes a shot at you with some archaic looking gun. Oh, okay. So here we go. Come on, come on, come on. Two, two successes. Okay. So you take one lethal. Oh, damn it. That's what might be a musket ball. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> you. And let's see. Who else do they want to kill? They try to kill. Did they try to kill Victor yet? Not yet. Did they, did they try to kill Joe? No, the bird, man. Uh, no, they didn't, did they? They didn't. No. But you did. Yeah, you, you missed this guy, though. So he's going to attack you, so just roll your defense. All right. Um, can, I, can I move and oh, yeah. be defensive? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get myself away from these guys, and I'll roll my defense, okay? Sure. Ah, there is four. Yeah, that works. That yeah, works. works. Okay, great. So smart, you can see it coming. Nice. All and right. finally, last but not least, <sighs> we've got uh, okay. We've got Victor. So all right, roll, I got you got two passive. for passive. Yeah, just roll right. those two dice, man. Good, great. Hey, two. Oh, nice. Yeah. nice. <laughs> okay, so you only take one non-lethal as this guy is so upset he doesn't even try to shoot you or stab you. He cold cocks you right in the chin. So you're down to negative one, oh, which wow. means at this at this point, first thing that happens is you take, you take negative one from all your actions. I believe at this point you might actually go unconscious. Let's double check. Um, if you have to roll like a, um, a body, uh, it's been a while since I've knocked somebody completely out. Um, where is it here? No, dying? No, no, we're not dead. Let's see. Damage. Hell. If you take if your character yeah, takes okay. enough non-lethal to reduce health below zero, then he falls unconscious. Yep. Yeah. You will remain yeah. unconscious. Remaining conscious. If your character takes enough damage, you may try to ma remain conscious yeah. with sheer willpower. Make a reflexive willpower roll with a difficulty rating of two, and you'll take a minus one. So it's twice your willpower minus one die. 
so twice my willpower, which is two, so that'd be four minus one is three. Yes, yeah, so I roll three, three dice. dice. Yeah, yeah we got the justice are still awake. And you got to okay. beat a what? A two? Two, yeah. yeah. Oh, here we go. Hey, two. Yeah, All right, so, 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 <laughs> there we go. All right, I'm staggered. It's, 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 <laughs> it ain't uh, dropped yet. It's not doing great, yeah, okay. Hit the deck. Excellent, excellent. Okay, that's that's it then. So, um, it's Cord's turn. All right, so Cord's going to... You know, mighty appreciative that uh, these damn pirates are right up close and personal because he's going to shoot one of them point blank with his hog leg. Good idea. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Is it one or two guys for point blank? I'm calling two. It two. might be one, but we're we're gonna call two for right now because right. you guys are cool. You're All magnanimous. Right. <laughs> All right. Let's see. One, two, three. Four, five, six, six dice, six successes. Huh. Six successes. Ah, uh, yeah. It's Twelve dice. It's, this was on a great roll. Yeah, you, yeah. You do four lethal. You definitely kill one of these guys. Yeah. So, so basically, you know, he one guy slashes him. When the other one comes for him, he grabs the guy's wrist and puts the gun right to his belly, and bam! Oh yeah, <laughs> he shot him in the I, belly like. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's a style point right there for me. It's just like so awful. Nice. <laughs> that's great. Oh, that's great. Damn right. it, you old woman. Get to cover. Victor, what are you doing? Oh, Victor. Um, now you can now, either move. You can, here's the thing. You, you can move or defend this round or like actively defend this round or attack. Um, if you try to do more than that, then you end up... Still the same situation. Damage. Yeah. Well, you end up taking more damage. Like you're, like you're literally. Hey, well, boy, just cold cocked me, so I'm, I'm swinging. I'm in a, you know, I'm in a brawl with him. Okay, go ahead. So, uh, swinging back at him, which is a six. Yep. That's two. And it's two. You two successes on six dice. Oh, on six dice, yeah. Well, you know the, the brass knuckles just glance off. He manages to block that blow. That's awful, Julius. I would make a called shot. Called <laughs> shot. Yes, against the leader of the pirates with my bow and arrow. Okay. So, he suffers a penalty on the attack roll. My attack roll equal to. The opponent's full defense rating. Right. Okay. So his full defense rating is five. Oh my god. Ow. Ow. So that leaves me with two. No. That leaves me with Your archery was good. I remember it. No, it was five. Uh, oh plus the arrow plus the arrow makes it two. Yeah. Oh plus the arrow, yeah. yeah. Okay. Plus you can add style to that. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. Spend yeah. style point, right? So whatever you roll, the, the good news is that whatever dice you roll, whatever it's, successes it's, you do, yeah. is damage he takes. So, is damage. Yeah. Okay, so if I so I take one style point off, and you said I get two for the. My archery is five. Right, and the, the damage of the arrow is a, is a two. You're okay. Yeah, so that's why you're rolling seven dice to begin. Oh, uh, okay, okay, okay. I see. You can spend as many style points as you want. Well, um, so that means I'm down to twos. I have three. Eh, we'll take one more style point. What the heck? Give me one. I gotta get this guy. I gotta get this guy. So I have four. Four. I mean, four dice. Four dice. That's not a bad trade-off at all. Nice. Better than what oh, I thought it was. Three. Nice. Three. Three out of four. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Okay. Yeah. So you pop this guy. Let's just see for one second. Yep. Okay. So you don't so you don't stun him and you don't um, you don't knock him back, but you do um, spunk him with an arrow for three lethal. Pretty bad. Yeah. Dang. And you've already hit him one time for uh, Ian. You already hit him one time for one. Yeah. This guy is kind of hurting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice. Wow. Good job, professor. All right, and now it's time for the crew, who are just not really rallying very well. Let's see what they're doing. 
Oh, okay. They knock off one more pirate. Excellent. And Ian. Okay, so I want to kind of, uh, I want to kind of jump down to the deck, and maybe roll when I land, and when I get back up, try and stick him with a sword. So maybe oh. I can sort of fold my acrobatics or something in there. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So. So I got athletics. Can, can I do athletics with uh, help from my acrobatics and throw some style in there? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So I'm going to call that, we're going to call that like a, a difficulty three maneuver. Okay. So. Well, actually, no, no, we're going to call it difficulty four maneuver. That's pretty hard. <laughs> yeah, because I'm going to say otherwise. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I was going to take the average, but uh, yeah. so I'm rolling eight dice to do yeah. that, Ooh. and uh, I'm going to put um, two style into that because I really want to make this roll. Uh, so here we go. One, two. Three, four, and five. So it's a good thing I put those style yeah. points in there. So I did get it. And so, you know, now that I'm in there, I want to, I'm going to spend my last uh, style to try and, and run him through with my sword. Mm -hmm. So let's see. It's going to be eight dice. There we go. Come on. One, two, three, four, five successes. Ooh. Nice. Yes, yes you do, in fact, run yes. him through with your sword. The, the leader of the pirates collapses yes. in a nice. bloody heap. Yes. Can I get some style back from... Oh, yeah. You got to style for that. That's okay. pretty awesome. <laughs> Thank you. And pirates are, pirates are losing morale at this particular point as they see their leader go down. Some of them have jumped off the off the side of the ship. Into the sharks, nice. And, uh, I think maybe yeah. we'll call it here as the pirates as pirates have finally been routed. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And sure the thing. crew is definitely definitely hurting. the The doctor isn't doing particularly good at the moment. Um, uh, yeah, nice. I'm hurt too. Not, so you know, we, we've taken some damage. Well, well, yeah. well, yeah, now normally, normally the, the doctor would be able to make medicine rolls to, like, you know, mitigate damage to people. However, he's really not in the position to do that. Yeah, I'm, I'm just want to maybe maybe do a trick or something, you know, yeah. if possible. But. So we will we will talk about healing before <laughs> next week. Before next week. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Excellent. All right. So I'm going to stop the recording now. Okay. Good job. <laughs>